Everybody and their mama, their babas, are glazing this episode saying it is, you have no idea what's coming. You, all of you, you're all going to break down, bawling, sobbing. Every goddamn reactor already making their thumbnails and titles saying, Don the Dun broke me. I cried for Don the Dun. Oh, oh. And I'm the last one to probably upload this video. You think I'm going to cry over children's cartoons? You think I'm going to cry watching this bullshit? Or if I wanted to cry, I'd look at my bank account. If I wanted to cry, I'd look at my student loans. If I wanted to cry, I'd go to the grocery store and look at these goddamn eggs costing like 10 fucking dollars. Donald Trump, please save us. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> huh? What's going on? Someone's running really fast. Get a wing away. Who? Oh! <laughs> I thought that was like us. That was basically the ballerina crazy supernatural woman, right? Yeah, I think that's her backstory of what it is. Dude, Turbo Baba? Still on business. I need Turbo Baba. Sorry, Neko Baba now. I need Neko Baba merch. You're not my mama. Go away. <laughs> it's not over yet. Why it's not over yet? Oh, shit. He loves saying what a downer. Hey, where's Neko? Where's Neko Baba? Did they take Neko Baba? Is Neko Baba just chilling right now? Maybe in the bag. In the bag, probably. What was that? Oh, god. Dude, we need to free Momo's hands, man. This is really just hind like hindering her. She got that, like, Esper aura, though, right? She had, like, an armor of Esper shit. Ex excuse me? Usura Chimpo. Yo, I thought this fight was over. Like, we're still going. She excels. Might be even faster than Rokorun. Did we see the grippers there? Would you? Panty shot? Uh, no, not really. They're they're hiding that shit. You are not my mommy. <laughs> masticate. Yo, what a word, bro. That ver is it. Masticate literally like eating, but like. Or like insect and shit? Masticate. Definition affects how well food is masticated and absorbed. Chew food. And like this whole notion of obsessing over somebody, it, there's this like weird phases where in the beginning, you like adore somebody, somebody. You like idolize somebody because you, you love them so much. And then there's a phase where I think you start wanting to be them. And then. Like, you even saw that in, like, Jellyfish, right? Jellyfish can't swim in the night. That cr that's crazy stalker girl. Do you want to be them? They change their appearance to look like them. And then, the next step is, like, you want to really be them. So you kill them and wear their skin. So this right now, eating, devouring, masticating Ida? Like, that's on another level of delusion. <laughs> we can be one together. <laughs> Masticate. <laughs> Oh, Momo. <laughs> Baba Perm. Here we go. Yeah, the hair is locking her down. And she's free. Nice, nice. The what? Full throttle? Oh, cut him full power! Run through her! What did he do? He chomped, right? He ate this sumo with his sharp teeth. Just go in, bro. It's your time to learn how to blow up person, Okarun. Yup, let's do it. Try it. 
<laughs> like that. <laughs> just kick her. Just fucking kick her. You want to see it? I'll fucking kick you right now. Nice. Did he just headbutt? Wait, wait, wait. Did he just headbutt this shit? I think so, right? He didn't even kick. Are we good now? Surely? Not yet? One more time. Double tap. Don't let her get back up. She might be dead. The cat. The cat. Neko mama. The sassiness, bro. The aura. The sheer audacity to be acting this cocky while you're in this like two foot nothing cute kitty beckoning cat. I love her so much. Probably my favorite character so far. But that does hint that like Okada's not even close to full potential. Turbo Baba has assessed Okada's powers there. Maybe she's she, she, she just shit talking, but like not even close to like full power. <laughs> Cute Skuna is Neko Baba. <laughs> Love how she keeps shitting on her. You're nobody. Onna. <laughs> Wait, I was so quick. Just cut out. Let's take them all. Acro Silky. The, uh... So, like, some people are saying this is a singular ball. And of course it's a singular ball outside. But I thought that Okano's testicles, both left and right nutsack, is in this big golden ball. So, like, there could be more than one. You know? I thought that this single ball was both balls, but it could not be the case. <laughs> Kintama. Yeah, so the opening has two balls, right? And the opening also has another guy character that hasn't been introduced yet. Other than Aida, I expect another guy character that was in the opening to encounter Okaran's other balls, okay? And then he will also have supernatural powers and shit. Huh? No, 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 no. There's no way she's just dead. She's too important of a character. You're baiting me. You're baiting me. Her supernatural powers will awaken. And then she'll be alive. I don't buy this shit. I don't buy it. <laughs> to a kinder world. No heartbeat. No nothing. I don't buy it. <laughs> Simply going within Acro Silky. Oh. That's crazy that you, you could do like internal massaging of the heart and shit. What about Okaran's prostate? Some new mechanics that we're learning about this power. I see, I see, I see. Boom, boom, boom. Also, Neko Baba, her presence makes everything lucky. You never know. Simply Neko Baba being here could cause this to happen. No, we already kissed. <laughs> no, no. The, the first kiss, like, accidental kiss. This is CPR kiss. It doesn't count. Where did you pull that out from? You got infinite storage pockets? What the fuck? <sighs> Not working. Oh shit, Silky Acro's back. Bro, stay down. Bald. Bald. What? Aura. So similarly how, like, Okaran kind of has Turbo Baba's powers. Ida will have Acro Silky's powers at this rate? There's no time left. It's, it's running out. 
I thought that was like the side effects of Okarun's power. She literally ripped her mouth off to prove that like she's down. Damn, Aura. Let's do it. But. Let's do this. Henshi? Wait, what? <laughs> I love how Momo's trying to save her still, and she still calls her stupid. Just stupid girl's aura. Connect aura. Carjack. Like, this is literally jump starting a car, and Momo is the fucking cables right now. And she's the battery. We need to. Look at that dwindling aura. Here we go, the cable. You gotta connect the two. Jumpstart that shit. What are we doing? We doing a bit of backstory? Is this Ida's mom? Or is this Akrasilki in the past? Because this is a love hotel. And that's money on the table. And if you can hear the shower in the background, can you realize what's happening? Connect the dots. How much is 30,000 yen? To USD. $200. $200 per one night of outcall as an escort is not the highest rate. I used to charge... 200 CAD though. And you'll never know if that's true or not. Who is this? Akrasilky stuff? Dancing? Got a beauty spot. Coming home after a night of work. How's the home situation? <laughs> Don't tell me this is Ida. It's different hair. It's different hair color. List. It's different hair. It's not pink. It's not pink. <laughs> Based on that dress, that was Akrosilki's outfit. Mom and child. Mom is an escort. Child. The pink hair doesn't match, but I'm sure the child, something so bad happens where Ida kind of resembles that child and she's like longing for the lost child that she had. I don't know. But she's working extra jobs, I think, right? She's working as like a janitor too, I think, here. I'm not sure if this, I can make a random dude, actually. It's probably a random dude. I don't know. I think she is working a lot of jobs. No, this is all her jobs. Janitor. Konbeni worker. But she used to be like a ballet dance. Oh, this is gonna fuck me up. <sighs> I'm angry. We ain't crying for this. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Give me some time. Give me some time. No, no, no. I can't start. No, no. Chill the fuck out. It's a children's cartoon. It's not real. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. What are you fucking talking about? Someone's cutting the goddamn onions. Someone's cutting the goddamn onions in the curry. Chill out. Deep breath. <sighs> it's the fucking onions in the curry. Okay. It's just, it's just the onions in the curry. Fuck this piano soundtrack. Why is it so sad? It's this goddamn piano soundtrack. Nothing is happening. It's the piano soundtrack. It's the piano. Stop. Why is it so sad already?
I want to be a dancer like you, mommy. What happened to the kid? Okay, everything's good. I just feel like the kid's gonna die. Maybe the mom makes the kid both dies. Maybe the mom dies and the kid becomes an orphan. She was saving up, bro. It's the curry! It's the curry! No! 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 She was fucking saving up for the dress, no! She's saving up for the dress, no! Oh, fuck, dude, okay. Chill the fuck out. Mm -mm. It's, it's the onions and the curry, dude. No, stop it. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. This soundtrack is so good. Nothing has happened either yet. That's, that's the part that's fucked up. Nothing has happened yet. Nothing has happened just yet either. It's just... I can already see where it's going. That's the thing. This is soundtrack and how it's building up and I can kind of guess how it's going to end. That's the fucking thing that's killing me right now. Happy birthday! Make a wish! What happened? What happened? What happened? She's sleeping. Okay, okay, okay. It's happy. It's happy. We had a birthday. We had a birthday. We're good. <sighs> what is this? Some fucking debt collector shit, bro? <laughs> They're taking the girl? It's like debt collecting shit. And they're taking the girl's payment now and the eyes gets cut out. Now what? She's just gonna bleed out. She's just gonna bleed out. We're not done yet. This is the intro scene. This is the intro scene of the woman running. Fuck. What a fucked up backstory. It's not over yet though? This is some fucking cinema! She's gonna jump off the roof, isn't she? This is her last dance then, isn't it? She's on the rooftop. She's blind, she's dancing. This is crazy good. There is the fall. This is so fucked up. And the curry's not even being made anymore. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, you like that shit? If I'm crying, you're gonna hear my fucking nose ASMR. <laughs> Ugh. And yeah, you heard that last sound, bro. You heard that last sound, bro. You heard the twist of the fucking neck at the end. She jumped off the roof doing one last dance. Oh, we're not done yet? Make it stop. Make it stop, bro. Make it stop. What happened to the kid? Is the kid actually idle? Well, who is it? <sighs> 
あいら That's not you, though. In the backstory! You know what the most fucked up thing is? I was. Based on, like. like I really thought that today's episode was supposed to be, like, for, like, Ida's backstory. And maybe it still is. We still have a lot left. Maybe Ida, like, saved her or something. So, like, maybe I shouldn't say this right now, but, like, if the extent of, like, the emotional breakdown is all, like, Akro Soki's backstory, like, holy shit, it wasn't even about Ida. It was, but it wasn't, but hold up. And that's another thing, right? Like, this is the supernatural shit, is it? Because she's dead. She's not here right now. But, like, young kids and the supernatural stuff, exactly, right? So this is, like, him saying, like, there's nothing there, but she can see the ghost, right? <sighs> Parents can't see, but the kid can. Mom? Mom passed away a long time ago, huh? So are we gonna get Ida's backstory now? Bald! Okay. That's a very interesting closure with mom. It almost sounds like dad didn't even give a fuck about mom. I don't know if it's correct for me to say this, but the composure in the voice, right? The composure in his voice and how nonchalant everything here is. And be a proud girl no matter what. Something about this, like, there's no tears or anything. Obviously, the kid's in shock. I don't, know really, I don't really know about the dad. Maybe it's really disrespectful to say that the dad doesn't care. But I, maybe he's just acting tough for the kid too, right? You don't want to, like, break down in front of the kid. You want to, you know, be strong for the kid so that the kid doesn't start crying either. <laughs> What happened to the kid? I don't even want to know, to be honest. How about some so fucked up thing happen with the Yakuza's, man? The blood covering her face. The delusion of Ida is my child. Holy shit, dude. This really might be the best Annie of the season. I'm sorry, Razor Glazers. Like, this episode is on another level. One second. This is crazy. This is genuinely fucking, like, insane how good this episode is. Like, we were just doing random fucking balls and, you know, haha, balls. Ha ha ha, funny, wiener, ha 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 ha. No, I think ReZero is it, but, like, for something that's so many seasons deep versus uh, a show that's so wide appealing, everyone can watch, this is gonna make moves. Like, because of the nature of season one content and, like, how wide appealing again Dandaran is, like, damn, bro. This is some turning point shit. Like, holy fuck. This is gonna go crazy for the next, you know, couple weeks, maybe. Aira. The hair. Akrosoki's birth. The desire to protect. And she's back. <sighs> Wait, don't though. Because I think Ida now, I think she knows everything that happened, right? She just lived through all of that, right? She knows. No, no, no. Not right. She saw it too. Momo saw it too. Of course she did. She was the fucking carjack. But you could argue she saved her at the end. But you could also argue the reason she needs to save is because of her though. But now with the powers like this, maybe something beautiful can happen in the future. Rest in peace. Leaving regrets behind. She won't be able to rest in peace. We need to get the regrets cleared up then. How do you do that right now? Ida needs to embrace her or something. You gotta do something about this! That is still a better conclusion than like what I expected. I thought those who leave regrets behind would continuously eternally like, suffer. But you're still not resting in peace though. You just disappear. 
てもない人生さパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパパーパ Because, like, we have an idea of what Nekobaba was doing. The whole reasoning of, like, give me your weenie had to do with, you know, all those, you know, women, the victims, right? But, like, it still wasn't, like, detailed backstory, like, what happened with Sakurasoki. I wonder if they're gonna, like, cook with Nekobaba. And I'm starting to realize maybe if this keeps happening with the Super Supernaturals we meet, is this gonna be some Demon Slayer shit again? Where every fucking villain that we beat at the end has the most fucked up. Backstory where you're like, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Every new person we meet, it's called oh, no, dude. I know I'm not saying Demon Slayer is on this level, okay? I'm just giving a comparison of bad guy, backstory before the death, and it's like, shit, god damn it. Her heart. Ida can go hug her and say thank you, Mama. <laughs> Not Mama. Mama. I, I was gonna try. I was gonna say Mama or Mommy. I couldn't pick one. It's so like I decided Mama. We gotta go there and say thank you, Mama. Ida, go! You gotta redeem yourself right now. You gotta go do this right now. Oh, God. Here we go again. Now you did plenty, but like, bro, like, some of the. I think this trope kills me. I rarely ever cry. But there's specific moments where it's like. Single parents, and I don't have single parents, but something about like. Like a, someone in poverty always saying, like, I wish I could have done more for you. Like, I wish. I could have made you better food. I wish I could have bought you better things. Like, something about that just kills me inside. And I, I remember, I think this happened in One Piece. I forget which backstory it was. Maybe it was um, Ar um, Arlong Park with Nami. Yeah, I think it was with Nami, right? Something about like, I wish I could have done more for you. Maybe, maybe it was there, yeah. <laughs> Bell Mary, exactly, yes. <sighs> what a sad, sad life, bro. Ida, please go do it. Do the shift. Let's go. Say it. Say it. There it is. There it is. And could you possibly say that Ida is now also getting closure? On the mom she never had. Because she has no memories. Nothing. She was already dead when she was a kid. And that's why like she's gone. But with this whole memory flashback stuff. It's as if she lived through this, you know? So it's like. Closure for her. Akrosoki. And closure for her. Ida. Give me the power to protect. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Surely that did it, right? Yeah, I saw the them part. The kid and the mom. Inside. What the fuck is this goofy ass fucking ending, bro? God damn it, not now, Nekobaba! Bro. She said, let them rest in peace. Mother and child. Oh my god. And then fucking Nekobaba with the ending, bro. It's just, it's just, it's just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I see what people are saying. This is gonna be an episode that like you remember. And like, oh my god, bro. Like this shit came out of fucking nowhere. If there is usually, like, you know, a mom taking care of a kid or something, like, Oshinoko was the same reason, right? There's, like, the more you can, like, relate to a story or something, the more you're emotionally engaged. Some people can't cry for this. 
and I can't cry for other things. And I laugh, ha ha ha, I'm a sociopath. Not really, these are just edgy jokes. It's all about like the empathy, the uh, relatability, how much you're emotionally connected to some themes and that determines how much like you're emotionally impacted. Like, God damn, bro. This is fucking crazy. This, this is still the early game. This is still the early game and this whole backstory of the mom doing everything she could to take care of her kid. But, and I bet the kid also was, I don't want to say accident, but you see the escort work she's doing, right? I'm sh and the dad's not even there. Like, make the connections. So she's taking care of the kid. All, that's all she's doing, but she can't even, and she's working multiple fucking jobs. Multiple fucking jobs. And then the dad, and she saved the, that, that, that dress, bro. The money she saved for the dress. Ugh. And then the debt collectors show up. And the kid probably got her like Orvin's heart gusted. The, the kid probably just, I, I don't know. And, and then the rooftop ballet scene. The rooftop ballet scene. This was so tragic, so beautiful. And then the jump off the roof. This, this, this is like, this is like a 13 out of 10 episode, man. And then Ida showing up. The mom that she never had. Living through these memories. And then accepting that. And then giving her a sense of peace at the, at the end. Let them rest in peace. I think Ida has been redeemed. And Akrasilki also. And I think that we should be very mindful of the future enemies. You know the backstories are going to get fucked up. You know the backstories are going to get even worse. And even worse. And yeah. The piano soundtrack? It's the piano soundtrack that killed me in the beginning. Like, nothing was happening. But like, all I, the piano started playing. It's just the single mom and the kid. I'm like, oh no, this is going to be so sad. It's going to be so sad. Like, oh, And that's pretty much it, bro. This is like the best episode of anime that I've seen in a while. And damn. What's, what's the fourth main character going to be, bro? Who has the other golden balls? You know the other guy and then whatever the opponent that he faces, there's gonna be some crazy shit going on, bro. And I wonder what kind of power Ida's gonna have. Probably something that resembles Acro Silky. I'm not sure if it's the same as, you know, Okaru Nino um, uh, had, you know, Turbo Baba's powers. So we'll see. What, well, maybe she has no powers, right? It's simply the aura being transferred. But like, we'll see something. Like maybe she already unlocks supernatural powers with the golden balls. Maybe there's something with Acro Silky, you know, you know, presented in her powers. But like, goddamn, bro. I don't think Momo is ever going to be able to beef with Ida again. No, they'll probably will. Maybe it'll be like friendly banter. But like after that flashback and Momo crying too, like, and after seeing this act, like, goddamn. God fucking now. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.